Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. Sorry to say I started to do my video and honestly it was taking way too long and the video ended and I would have had to gone into video number three. Um, f I'm sorry, four. I didn't want to do that for your sake. <laughs> so I'll just show you what I've done so far. What I've done is taken all of my inks right there and I have put them, let me go in, I have put them all back in their order here and what's really exciting is today like I said I got my hybrid inks not my pigment inks they came in reverse so here they are really quickly because I'm not going to do, waste any time we're going to get right into this tutorial so I ordered this um, I'm going to just show you my finger here to show you how big this little uh, flourish is it was two dollars and fifty cents then you got this tree and Mary free for ordering anything over sixty dollars and I got that and here's my hybrid inks and hybrid inks for Copics the black licorice far exceeds memento tuxedo black as far as I'm concerned they're both very good inks but my experience now with this black licorice I ordered an extra one that's how much I like it so I put them in this case and they're going to stay over there by my Copics and I don't even have to name the colors because look at just as I slide them let me take the camera here and you can see you can see the colors and I'll do a tutorial on them they're just stunning colors I especially like this caramel one right here so um, those came today and they are perfect. I can't wait to get started on using them. So we'll put that over there. And on the other video, I went ahead and added some of this WOW, um, let me see, the Vintage Romance. You think I'd have that down, wouldn't you? Absolutely beautiful. I put it on here. I hope you can see it with the uh, lights on there there it's just beautiful just gives it a hint of sparkle on the bottom I took my score tool right here the Stampin' Up! has the scoring on there and I scored some lines down uh, sideways so they I turned it around this way see how you can see my lines I put in here so I went ahead and did that to get some more movement in the dress so the dress is complete. I grabbed some W7 and put it over top of the embossing because I didn't want it to look any white in it. I didn't want, and then I put some V99 on there and it came out absolutely stunning. I just love it. All right, so let's set that aside. I'm doing a dark, I put my dress down because I'm going to use some glossy accents. I am doing a dark toned skin as you can see I did um, W7 and W2 on the skin I used uh, E000, E0, no, E21, E34, E25 and what else did I, E37 and then I went back over it with some W7 to give it under the arms there so the shading really stood out now I'm working on the hair which will be black and with some gold tones in it so let's get out the Y02 uh, and I'm just um, she has some little squiggly lines so we'll work with that as far as her highlight is concerned. I'll go on the edges. There's one up there and I'm going to try and really come down here for you and hopefully the camera will uh, move in for us. So that is YO2. Then I'm going to take a W2 and just tone it down with that I'm still going to have yellow but it is not going to be that bright so 
So we'll go right over it with the W2. Like that. Let's take the W7 and I am going, this is, can you see that? I hope I can, I'm getting this in for you. Just with wavy hair. I'm just coming down. I'm going to make my own lines, my own waves. I don't care about this because I'm putting something over it. There we go. And let's grab a W10. Just under the band, give it some squigglies. I just put those lines there because I just want to see where I'm going to keep that light. It's going to be there. Turn on this bun. doesn't look like much yet but it will Let's get some of that yellow shade in there get that bang in there okay. then let's do the black I think I want to do a tad bit of the um, YR16 through here, just a little bit, because black hair on a dark skin does not have this much blonde undertone. It would have, I, I would think, a more um, orangish, reddish type. And let's grab the 100, 100 black, and this is where you're going to be very careful. This is where I'm going to make my little lines where I want them. I want to meet up here. Bring some lines down from there. I want it to be really scribbly looking. I think that's kind of what. Okay, awesome. I'm not going to do much more than that. The Y17, I might push some of that black W11 back. See what takes me so long? It just has to be, it has to be just right. That's my problem. I'm pushing some of this 1-7 into the hair so it looks so it looks like it belongs. Then I am going to take my zero. 0 0.3 marker, my pigment marker, and here is where we are going to get some little curly cues, just like this, in where the yellow and orange are, just so it looks like it was in rollers, it was in hot rollers. Make your own little scribbly doos. There we are. Love it. Let me show you that up close. There's our little scribbly doos. Can you see them? And there's her skin. Looks really sweet. The sunlight's coming down from the right, which I like. And then I think just to pull out some of those squigglies, I'm going to add my um, Y00. I'm not using the zero marker because 
I don't want to, I want to push some of the squigglies so that I get there. Awesome. A little bit in her bang. Okay. And then when you look at it from a certain angle with that uh, 0 0.03, I just have to add a tad more distinct round circles like that. Loving it. She's done. Woo! All right, what did I do with that lid to this came off? Okay, we're getting there. So, let's put, I put some of my Tombow Mono Multi into my new fine tip, fine line applicator. And we are going to squeeze it. And there we are. It's, it's beautiful. Put her little uh, bonnet or her band bandana. That's what we used to call. Remember bandana? Set that over there. It's so tiny. Let me get my spit finger. There. That's to clean grandkids' faces with, isn't it? The spit finger. All right. I gotta make sure. I have this. Pull that back. Pull that back. Get rid of the glue. What nails are for, right? Push that down just a tad and hold it. And let's take some of the W. One zero. I want some of these curlies to stay so you can see them. And then I'll outline her hairband there. All right, now let's get the glossy accents. So while we're putting the card together, this can. Um, get my pin. This can dry. I think, oh my, where the, what I want to do, I've got marker everywhere. I was wondering where pink came from. I want to just add, not too much, I'm going to pull it up for her cheeks. Just so light, ever so slightly lightly with the W2. There we are. Awesome. Loving it. And there she has some pink cheeks. Quick before it dries. Push it up. There. Pretty, pretty, pretty. If you could see this, I'm going to bring it up to the light for you. Let me grab this. Let's get our glossy accents on her bandana. I think I'm going to use the other applicator for my glossy accents so it's nice and fine tipped. This is where I could use it. There we are. This will set aside and dry somewhat. Probably take all night the thickness I'm putting on there. Okay, so let me get my, uh, what did I do with my tweezers? I got to organizing when I was doing my Copics. And that'll be the end of me once I start that. All right. There's all my tweezers. You've got to be kidding me. 
I have to have my tweezers here. I guess not. So I will just bring this up to you. Let's do it on the white. Slide it up there. And there she is. I'm going to tilt this up. I want you to see the highlights, the yellow highlights. The skin tone is beautiful. Let me get the hair up close. Let me get her down here. Maybe if I go like this, right on the edge. See the yellow in there and the little swirls with the 0 0.3 um, Copic liner? It's a Stadler liner, both the same. Really pretty. So the skin tone, the pink cheeks turned out perfect. She has uh, sunlight, just looks like she's kissed with the sun on the right hand side. I love that. So she is going to go right here to dry while we get this skirt put on. And where, let's go with that. This is not going to take as long now. All I have to do is fix my mistake on the inside quickly. And on this, I'm wondering if I should, oh, I have to zoom out, sorry. I'm wondering if I should just, there we are, uh, color her lightly. I might spray her, I have to see. I might work on this after I get the outside done, because that's where I have to hide that boo-boo. And I don't want to take all day, just, but I think I will just shade her very lightly um, inside. And I want to get the skirt put on. Do I want it raised? I don't think I do because it's going in the envelope. And so let me get some good glue on here. I guess I'll use my extreme. I actually had some problems like uh, I had to put my new roll in there because it just wound itself up and I was not happy. So I put my other roll in there. See, it must be the way that I'm working the thing. Wow, that is sticky. Okay, let's figure out. I want it to be on a slant like this because I want it to have that twirled look. Um, let's get her body. I'm going to do her with the Tombow Clear Mono Multi. Like this. Because this is a good drying glue. I like it. And, sorry. Let me do this. And we are going to finish this, finally. How much time do I have left? Yikes, I've used half already. I have to pick that up right there and just get that off. Okay. shoulder down. Really pretty. I don't want to touch too much, but I'm going to let it dry on its own. Oh, can't do that. How am I going to get that down? A pin. Yes. Right there. Let's hold it there. Oh, Carol, 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 what did you do? Where is my clear here? I'm going to slide a little bit under. I can work with that once it dries, I think. I don't want to play too much with it. Awesome. I might give her some eyelashes and a little face there. Okay, let's get... Um, I know it's sticking up, but I'm not going to seriously do anything with it. I'll do that last. Let's put 
put my markers aside. Okay, and let's do um, some of these leaves, sprays. I have yucky scissors for this stuff that I use. And let's put a sprig right there. These spider web things, don't they kill you? I just <laughs> I just had this terrible thought that my card would not open on the right side. That's funny. Let's just move that I'll move it in for you so you can see us. There we go. So I have them kind of facing down like that. And now we will put, we did so much work with these flowers. Remember this has to go in our, let's move that up, envelope, right? This one, let's just do this. I want to see how far down I have to be. This one, I'm, oh my, yowzer. It's a good thing I keep this stuff right by me, isn't it? I just kind of boo-booed right there. Again. Let me get my glossy accents. Can you see that? Maybe not. Hmm. I can from a certain angle. There. She'll just look a little heavier on top because I put a lot of glossy accents down. Okay. And then I have to move this. I'm going to separate the, the stuff here. I might have to move it out because I think this is where it's going to go in. So I got a little bit too quick on that. strand of this. I got this at uh, uh, the floral sprays. It's called um, it's from Michael's anyway in the bridal section. Okay. Now we start working. Oh, I lost a diamond. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. There we are. And that is, I have to get my um, tweezers. I'm lost without my tweezers. And you know I always have them hanging right here. Oh, there's my cutter I looked for. I start, if I start um, organizing and taking stuff out, it is not good. Okay, because I'm going to have to um, pick that up, and I don't want to, uh, I'll find my tweezers as soon as I'm finished. I think I have another pair of tweezers here. There, we'll just use these. All right. I am going to put this diamond. Oh, it's a bit big to do that. I was going to put it right in the center of her cleavage of their dress and then I thought up here but I think I will grab a diamond for up there and quickly grab one and here we are. 
while that's still wet. The only thing I'm not going to be able to do here is slide. Let's grab a smaller one. Right there. And I don't want to touch anything else because I think that just gives it a little bit of class. Let me show you here. Let me, move, let me well, I'm going to zoom in because I want you to see her hair. It just came out. You think it won't stand out, but it does. See the little squirrels in there and her little diamond? Her skin tone is oh so cute. I'm thinking to put some little lashes on there with my Copic liner. I can't open it up to do the work in here, but that will, let me zoom out again, zoom in, zoom out. I'm gonna have you so dizzy. there. I think when I do a light shade of her, I think I'll just do it in grays. And I think that'll come out super, super nice to write a sentiment in there. And then that will slide in. Let me just see. Perfect. That's going to slide in there perfectly. And you're going to see those flowers. But of course, I can't do that right now. I want to see if there's anywhere else while I'm looking at this that we could do anything. No, I think I am going to add the bird. Put some glossy accents. If it's going to dry, it might as well all dry even. I'm going to slide that in there. Like that. Just hold it down right there. And I want to put a tiny, tiny diamond on the bird's eye. That's going to have to be exceptionally small, I think. Maybe not. Let's see. Is that too big? I don't mind it at all. Let's get the glossy accents out again. And I thank you for joining me through this whole process. My is a long process. I'm going to put it, this is going to hold the diamond down as well. And it's going to give the bird some stability. There we go. Gorgeous. There. So pretty. So pretty. I'm satisfied with it. I know it took a little while, but when I give a card and an envelope, I really want it to, um, you know, show that I put some work into it. So here you have it. You have, let's get zoomed in in the last few seconds. And please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I hope you like it. I really do like, I like everything about it. I wonder if I turn this light out quick. Nope. I was just going to say if I could get a, a little bit of... I didn't even have this light on. Maybe that'll help. There we are. So thank you for joining. I'll do a close-up on the hair. And 